Hello there, welcome back to another edition of Pimp My Filter and in this one we're taking a look at another monster. This one is definitely one of the heavy hitters. This one is the Eheim Professional 3 2080 also known as 1200XL or you can get a very similar thermo version which has got a built-in heater called a 1200XLT. As far as I know the 2180 is also pretty much exactly the same as this as well so hopefully this video will cover all of those different versions. Just a few facts and figures about the flow rate. Flow rate is approximately 1700 litres per hour which is 447 US gallons per hour. That actually doesn't sound like much for such a beast of a filter. And it isn't much compared to the FX4, FX5 and FX6 from Fluval. However, filtration isn't all about flow rate. What actually fits in here ultimately is more important than how many times per hour the water gets turned over. As far as recommended tank sizes go, Eheim recommend this particular one for tanks up to 1200 litres and that is 316 US gallons but they also have another line on the on the table which gives you all the facts and figures on the website they've got the aquariums up to figure which is 1200 litres but they also have one just below that that says for aquariums of about 400 litres that's the one you really should be looking at on their website, not the up to because to be honest that means absolutely nothing. For aquariums of about, that's what they're saying this will be most suitable for. So Eheim are saying that this one will be most suitable for a normal aquarium of around about 400 litres, which is about 105 US gallons. And that might not sound very much for something of this size, but they're a pretty savvy company, they know quite a lot about filtration and we'll see just how much Biohome Ultimate we can get in here as to how accurate that 400 litre figure is. Looking at the size of this I would say they're underplaying it a little bit by saying 400 litres but let's take a look inside. Now before I take the top off I've got to say this one actually came to me with nothing in oh, well nothing in apart from the tiniest, most coarse, knackered little pre-filter pad right in the top. So that is going to get chucked away. There's no point me sending that back. I've replaced that with other stuff. I've actually I've replaced everything in every tray in this filter. So this one is already set up. Let's take a look at how it works and how it's set up. Now before I pull this apart I will say that how I have set this up and how I explain it works will probably contradict a lot of the videos that you see on YouTube about this. I actually did do a bit of research to see what other people thought of them and how other people set them up and it seems like they're either just awful unboxing videos or they're just simply just set up as they come from the manufacturer. No sort of thought put into how it should actually work you know. So consequently, all the videos I saw had the fine pad in the top as the last thing the water hit before it left and that just concentrates all the fine muck in the media, makes it really inefficient. Ours are set up very, very differently. Okay, so we've got the top here, that contains the pump and that is a really substantial, big, heavy part. And if you notice, we've got what looks like three outlets on the top, but there's actually two inlets and one outlet so you can draw from two different places in your aquarium which helps to prevent dead spots so that is a nice feature so the water comes in from your two different points in your tank into the intake it then drops out the bottom through these two pipes it then drops into a pre-filter tray you should be able to see two holes that I've cut in this coarse foam. That's for the pipes to go into from the top of our filter. Okay, so there's our pre-filter. 
Water drops in here, swirls around here. All these little baffles in here help to slow the flow down, as does the bumpiness of this foam. Water then comes through the foam, drops down here. And then because we've got a little bit of a rubber seal here, that allows that pre-filter bit to be properly sealed onto here and force all the water down there, right to the bottom of the filter. Right, so that's it with the trays out. You can see, that's where the water goes down. Comes out of here, swirls around in the bottom. Unfortunately, there isn't enough room in the bottom to put any sort of um, ceramic rings or anything like that to further settle out heavy muck before it hits the foams because this bottom is slightly domed, which is a bit of a bummer. I would have preferred that to have, I don't know, maybe it's an inch, 25 mil or something of space here, just so you could put a bit of crappy media in here, just to settle out the flow, catch heavy muck. We haven't got that, unfortunately, so the water's gonna come straight out of here. And then it's gonna hit our mechanical filtration. And in the bottom tray, we've got coarse foam, medium density foam, and then a fine pad. So all our mechanical filtration is done in the bottom of the filter. So all the filth, apart from whatever collects in that very top pre-filter tray, is gonna be held below here. And that is super, super important because the next tray that goes in is three kilos of Biohome Ultimate. And that's gonna be operating in beautifully clean water. That makes it efficient, it allows it to work hard for a very, very long time. On top of that, our final media tray is another three kilos of Biohome Ultimate. So that's six kilos in total. We could probably get a little bit more in if it was neatly packed or if I took my time packing it. But just for the sake of argument, just say three kilos per tray. And three kilos is approximately six, ooh, six and a half pounds in US measurements. So roughly six and a half pounds of media in each tray. And then on top of that, we've got the Eheim grid, which just stops any of this being drawn into the pump. Not that that ever happens, but it's useful to have that on. Ordinarily, on top of that, we would have our pre-filter tray and the water would be drawn up through there. Uh, there's actually a little flappy bit missing here, which is like a non-return valve. So you'd have a little flappy bit here and as, as the pump's drawn, this little flappy bit would just come up and allow the water to be sucked up through all of our trays and into the pump, back out to the tank. But the thing is, between this tray and this tray, We've actually got about that much space in here. Yeah, actually, it's pretty much that, that sort of space there. So th there's like a void in here, which I can't really understand. I suppose it's so that the water all gets drawn evenly here into the pump. I'm not so sure about that though, because the actual draw point is in the middle. So because we've got a bit of available space there, I've actually cut another foam. I don't know how much use this would do, but my thinking behind this is that Ultimately, this foam, as long as the filter was neglected long enough, would get clogged and it would create slow flow zones, mostly in the top tray around the outsides there. And that would possibly encourage the anaerobic bacteria to reduce the nitrates. You shouldn't really need any further encouragement because you've got six kilos of Biohome Ultimate in there, but that little bit of space has been used for something. I mean, even if the water's only flowing through here really slowly, this is still gonna get colonized with some sort of bacteria. It's still gonna help, you know. So on top of that little modification, drop the pre-filter tray, and then our main pump head goes back on the top. Okay, so that's it, done. It's a really simple one, but when you first take one of these apart, you might think that it looks quite complicated. So there you go, that's that one fully set up. And although I'm not 100% sold on the effectiveness of those pre-filter trays, they can trap muck 
you've still got to take the filter apart to actually get to it so I'm not really sure how much they solve. I probably would have preferred to have seen maybe a, a two inch void in the bottom which I could have filled with Eheim Mech and that pretty much would have done the same job as our filter tray. It would have still held all the muck down in the bottom. If there's muck held in the top there's always the chance that some of it will escape and end up back down in the media trays. So I'm not sure how much of a bonus having that pre-filtered tray is. However, it is set up with a good foam. There's a big contact area there with all the bumpy bits of foam facing down. So when the water hits it, it's hitting a huge area. Then it's going down to the bottom. Then it's hitting our mechanical part, which is all the foams and the fine pad. And then really in the middle, I don't know, 50, 60% of this filter, we've got all of our biological media. And that's gonna sort out ammonia, nitrite, and nitrate. Well, there you go, that's another one done. Set up to be as efficient as possible. Now, I was a little bit disappointed that I only managed to fit six kilos of Biohome Ultimate into here, considering the size of this thing and the fact that the actual filter compartment is 12 cubic liters. Um, I don't know why, I, I thought I would probably get somewhere between seven and eight kilos in. But really, there's not much wasted space in here. Um, it just couldn't fit the vast amount of media in. I mean, six kilos is only one kilo more than an FX5 or an FX6. So given the height of this thing, you know, and the overall bulk of it, that's not a massive improvement, but it is more than the FX5 and the FX6. That's the most important thing. It's not hugely more, but it is more. And six kilos of media should be enough to achieve a full cycle, which will ultimately result in the reduction in nitrate in approximately 600 litres. So that's a normally stocked tropical tank of about 600 litres, which is approximately 158 US gallons. So for a normally stocked tank, that fella should give you the full cycle in a tank, about 600 litres, or 158 US gallons. If you were heavily stocked, so if you had, say, an African cichlid tank, or a predator tank, or a goldfish tank, you know, something where there was a lot of fish in, they were reasonably big, they were eating quite a lot of food, and obviously producing a lot of waste, you could halve that figure. So, to expect, say, a full cycle in a heavily stocked tank, this would be suitable for a tank of up to 300 litres, which is approximately 79 US gallons. Now all those figures are a world away from 1200 litres, which is Eheim's up to figure. But if you've got a fully planted tank with only a few little fish in, and you've got six kilos of Biohome Ultimate in there, you might get a full cycle out of 1200 litres. But when, the, when they're on about that 1200 litres, they're not talking full cycle very very few well in fact no manufacturers talk about a full cycle they really just talk about keeping the water healthy with regard to ammonia and nitrite so that's why my figures in these videos vary from everybody else's because i'm talking about a full cycle not just half a job but the eheim figure where they say for aquariums of around 400 liters is a low ball figure because Aquariums of a round would be nearer 600 litres. So, yeah, they were way out on the high end and a very, very conservative on the low end. Somewhere between the two is probably about right. Okay, that's the end of this video. If you've got a filter you'd like me to take a look at, by all means send me it. Um, UK only though, please. My contact details are in the video description and also in the pinned comment. And they've been visible behind me here for the whole video. If you've previously watched videos done by other YouTubers on this particular filter or one very similar, please don't go on there and say, yeah, you've done it all wrong, this is totally wrong, I'll tell you how to do it. Just share this video somewhere with people who you think may appreciate it. The last thing people want when they're making videos is to be told you're wrong, you're wrong, you're wrong, you're wrong. Even if they are, they don't want to be told that. So please just share this video wherever you want. Hopefully people will see the sense in the way that this is set up 
and replicate it or alter it to their own needs. Thanks very much for watching. See you next time.